Alright, hey guys, Zero One One here, how's it going? Uh, here with another video tutorial for you, uh, Diablo 3. This is my monk build, it is a variation of the One Punch Monk uh, that you've seen on YouTube. Um, I'm not claiming any kind of credit for this particular build, because I'm sure that people come up with it too. Um, but I just want to show it to you real quick, and then uh, we'll run through a level 50 Greater Rift and uh, see how it works. So, uh, first thing, as with any build, it's not really the quality of the items that you have, it's that you have the right items. Um, so, starting off first, we're going to go with uh, this weapon here. Um, everything that I have that I'm going to show you, you need. Because that is what kind of makes this whole thing work. Alright, so I got lucky with this. The very first one that I found was Ancient. Um, so as you can see, it's got the 150% uh, uh, guaranteed increased damage, but then if you hit three or fewer, like if you're, I don't know, on a Rift Guardian, in like a Greater Rift, and you only got the one guy there, then it'll increase the damage by 230%. So you actually do more damage um, against a single person versus a group of people. Um, so the max here is 250%. Uh, uh, this one's at 230, so it's not too bad. Um, you want uh, Spirit Regeneration, Dexterity, Vitality, and then uh, whatever extra damage, I don't think it really matters what type of damage it is. Um, so you want to put in uh, Emerald on here to increase your critical hit. And so that's your first weapon. Uh, your second weapon, this one is also needed. Um, this is the uh, Vengeful Wind. Um, once again, uh, this one is good because it has a redor uh, resource cost reduction which is very, very useful because Wave of Light is very expensive. Um, okay, so Dex, Resource Cost Reduction, uh, Spirit Regeneration. Um, and then uh, the max stack here is 7. So basically what this does is it will take this. Now Sweeping Wind uh, normally only goes up to 3 stacks, but with this you can have it go up to 9 or 10. Um, for this build, it doesn't really matter too much if you have the 6 or the 7. Um, as you can see here, the uh, maximum stack count. Uh, just because that the way that this set works, um, it doesn't really uh, that doesn't really matter too much. So just kind of keep that in mind here. Um, also with a uh, an emerald in here for the increased crit damage. All right, and then uh, for the boots, uh, these ones actually, well, actually this one and this one, I just got done re-rolling. Um, I think last week. So these are my newest ancients here. Um, the boots here, uh, the reason why you want these boots is because um, if you have two mystic allies, um, let's say they have the resource generating ones or the, uh, I have the fire ones on which is the damage increase, uh, yeah. So if you have two of them out then the perks that they give you are doubled. So having two fire guys out, um, let's see, it will increase my passively increase my damage by 20% instead of by 10%, which is what you see here. So you want these, um, you want to have this have an increase to Wave of Light damage. 15% uh, is max you, it can go, so these are actually pretty good. Um, okay. Oh, also another thing. Um, when you're dealing with the weapons, if you find a good Ancient one and it doesn't have a socket, do not sacrifice any other stats for a socket. Get yourself one of these Robin Lodney's gifts and use that to add your socket in there. So I did that with this one and also with this one. And the reason why you want to do that is because it's a free socket. Like you don't have to trade anything for it. So get yourself some uh, good stats on your weapons and then just add a socket to it. All right, now this build works off of uh, Sunoko's set, uh, the Monkey King. Now we have the full six set bonus here, even though we only have five pieces equipped. So obviously there's a Ring of Royal Grandeur in here somewhere. Um, now the main well, there's actually two main things about this that are helping you out a lot. Let me see if I can show that. It doesn't really show. Okay, my picture's kind of in the way. Anyways, uh, if you have Sweeping Wind active, as we do right now, um, you get an automatic 50% damage reduction. So that is killer if you're doing uh, higher Torment levels or higher uh, Greater Rift levels. Now, the four set bonus, it actually doesn't really do that much damage, um, especially when you're doing like T10 or... Uh, you know, the greater rifts, unless you're like doing a low level one. Um, so the four set you just kind of ignore, which is why we don't really care about um, how many stacks of swooping one we have. And, um, you know, I'm sure you guys can read it. So uh, the six set bonus is what makes this set. So what this will do is it will consume a stack of swooping wind 
um, every time you uh, use either Lashing Tail Kick, Tempest Rust, or Wave of Light. Now, since we're using Wave of Light, this is like awesome because it gives you a 1,500% increase in your damage for Wave of Light. So that is freaking amazing. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, like none of this stuff is ancient. So, I mean, I do not have the best gear here. Like, none of my set stuff is, it's just regular. Um, all right. Now, one thing that you do want to keep in mind, though, is that you need fire damage. So, with this, uh, you want to have this maxed out, if you can, on your amulet, 20% uh, fire, fire damage. Um, also, on your bracers, you also want 20% fire damage and get it there, too. All right. Uh, now, these, um, I, I, I don't know. They're... As you can see, I haven't re-rolled anything on them. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the way that they are. I'm sure that you can tweak it and you know to uh, increase your damage or your survivability or something like that. But uh, for this, I mean, I get the crit chance, which helps me do more damage. I get I get the resistance to all elements, which helps me with my toughness. Um, golden health pickup, you know, whatever helps out the level requirement. I mean, I could replace that with something else. And that's if I do do anything with this one. That probably is what I'm going to replace. All right, and then we have uh, this piece, the chest piece, um, pretty basic, dex fit. Um, I have life per second, helps me with my regeneration, so it helps keep me alive. And then uh, some cold resistance here. And then, uh, let's see, with the leggings, dex fit, armor, um, armor adds to toughness. Uh, let's see, and then for this, dex fit, um, some resistance, and then I also get a little bit of recovery with uh, the health gloves and the potions. So, and then for these, uh, dex fit, resistance, and then reducing all resource costs, once again, is important because Sweeping Wind, or sorry, not Sweeping Wind, but Wave of Light, uses a lot, a lot of resource. Now, there are a few ways to get around this. Um, I will be explaining the different variations that you can use as you're, you know, kind of getting every, like, all the gear together. So that's uh, pretty much it for the main set. Um, we are also using Focus and Restraint. So uh, these also not ancient, you know, not anything super amazing or anything. Uh, so you want crit, you want, I mean, because I'm gearing this guy up to do uh, higher, greater rifts. So the more toughness and recovery that I can get, the better. Um, okay, so focus and restraint are your two rings. Um, just uh, kind of pick your stats depending on how you think you're doing with your build so far. Okay, uh, now this belt here, you will need this, absolutely. Um, this is Kyoshiro's Soul. Um, now I have this set up mostly for increasing my toughness, um, once again for survivability. But the main thing here is that Sweeping Wind will gain two stacks every second, it does not deal damage to any enemies, which is why, as you can see, um, it keeps regenerating itself. And then, so long as this is up, you're also getting the 50% damage reduction, which is why my toughness is at 77 million. All right, so, um, and then also it increases your sweeping wind damage, but, you know, as I said before, it doesn't really do that much damage to begin with, so not really worried too much about that. You just want the, uh, the automatic, you know, reapplication of it. And then, uh, Zokrin's Gaze. Um, this one is also very important. Um, so you want... Uh, as you can see, it gives uh, Wave of Light damage. Uh, I believe the max is 150, so this is 147, which is actually pretty good. Um, once again, it's not Ancient or anything, so Dex Fit, Life, uh, Spirit Regeneration. Um, spirit Regeneration and Resource Cost Reduction are really big with this build. So if you can get them, get them. And then also, uh, Wave of Light is cast at your enemy, so instead of being centered here, you can actually put it over there, which uh, helps you kill stuff a lot faster. And then you want Pinto's Pride. Um, this one will slow enemies, which is useful for one of the legendary gems that I have. And it also gives an ex possible 150% uh, increased damage. This is 144, so it's not too bad. Um, and then once again, you want your fire fire damage here. And then, you know, crit, dex, uh, then if you want toughness or recovery, you know, I don't know, put your stats however you want them, I guess. Okay, so that's pretty much it here. Um, we'll go over the Paragon points real quick. So you want to get uh, your max movement speed first. As you can see, I don't... Oh, dude, I can actually redo that. Nice. 
Okay, so I have 12% movement speed, so I only need 13% here. Alright, and then all the rest of this, you can just put into Dexterity. Um, your max spirit, you don't really we need to worry about too much. If you build this right, you will never run out of spirit. Alright, so I'm back in here. Okay, so movement speed, dexterity. And then another cool thing about dexterity is it also increases your armor. So that, that increases your toughness with however much you put in here. Now I'm at uh, 570 paragon level, but um, I was doing T10 at like, I want to say 140, 150. So um, this is definitely a good build for doing that. Alright, now for offense, you want your crit crit and then your cooldown reduction. Um, attack speed, you don't need to worry about too much because you're using wipe of light and that's like one click you attack, one click you attack. So it's not like a constant like repeating type of thing. Um, okay, and then for this, you want your resist all and then your armor and then your life. Now life is for um, your toughness as this goes up, so does your toughness. And it also means you can take a lot more damage. So I've got 839k. Um, now, once this is all full, then you want to go into life regeneration. Now, for this one, biggest thing, resource cost reduction, you want to max this out as soon as possible. Then uh, next you want to put in some area damage, this will just help you with some stuff. Life on hit after that, and then gold find. Uh, gold find is kind of irrelevant, so yeah. Alright, uh, let's go into the cube real quick. So here, um, this weapon you will absolutely need. Um, this will reduce the spirit cost of wave of light by 50%. Um, this one is also useful for um, you know, helping reduce the cost of wave of light uh, because it will reduce the cost of fire skills by 30%. So this combined with this gives you an 80% uh, reduction plus with my 10% reduction here. So I've got 90% reduction uh, for the cost, which is why I can just keep spamming wave of light all the time and my spirit barely moves. Now once you get to the point to where um, you are recouping enough of your spirit that you don't really need to have uh, your cinder coat here, throw on a kilo care, uh, queers, whatever you want to call it. Now as you can see just having this here boosted my toughness up to 155 million. So with this I can survive much higher greater rifts. But the only difference is you can't really spam it too much as you can see uh, it's, spirit is dropping down slowly. And then with this, it only gives you the extra 50% damage reduction if you're above 90%. Um, so if you do want to go with this route, what you can do with your Paragon levels is uh, put your maximum spirit up. Um, it'll give you an extra 50 points. Uh, so that way you can use more spirit while still remaining above 90%. So that's kind of uh, up to you, I guess. Um, for me right now, I'm just using just using Cinder Coat. I'm not doing anything super high level uh, Raider Rifts, so I don't need that quite yet. Um, and then uh, Ring of Royal Grandeur, once again, for your set to make sure that you can use everything. Alright, and then let's go over the moves real quick. Alright, so this right here is what I'm using. Um, now, with your primary skill, you can make it be pretty much whatever you want. A lot of people use Crippling Wave with Mangle. Um, you can also use uh, Rising Tide here to get you some extra uh, spirit. Um, I'm using Fist of Thunder just because it allows me to freeze an enemy for two seconds. So this works on uh, Rift bosses as well. So it just means that they're not hitting you for two seconds and you can just kind of unload on them. Uh, Wave of Light, Explosive Light, you need this, this move here. This is like your main damage dealer. It's pretty much your only damage dealer actually. Um, so this will change your explosive light to fire and uh, it'll also uh, release well it adds 830 percent weapon damage as fire um, now if you're worried about uh, your regeneration here for spirit you can go with the air ally and then as long as you have those boots instead of getting four for spirit regeneration you'll actually get eight so that'll help you keep your stuff up um, for now I don't really need it too much which is why I have it on fire my fire uh, allies so that's you know, I kind of need the damage more than I need the uh, resource regeneration. Um, okay, let's see. Then sweeping wind, inner storm. So right here, inner storm. Now what this does is when this is at when your sweeping wind is at three stacks or more, which as you can see, it's always at that. 
then you will gain uh, 8 spirit per second, so that just helps with your spirit regeneration. Um, and then Dashing Strike Quicksilver. Uh, now, you can use uh, Way of the Falling Star if you want. This will give you an extra 20% increased movement speed after you use it once. However, I like having you know three charges instead of just two, so that's why I have it as uh, Quicksilver. And then finally, uh, Mantra of Healing. This also helps with your recovery, so it helps you stay alive in the Greater Rifts and Torment Tens if you're not quite you know up to the toughness level that you need to survive there easily. Um, and then I have uh, Circular Breathing on here. Um, this is just more uh, Spirit Regeneration. Um, as far as your passive skills, Exalted Soul uh, increases Spirit and Spirit Regeneration. Chant of Resonance, uh, once again, um, for Spirit Regeneration. Uh, as far as the Mantra activation effects, I mean, I don't ever use or activate my Mantra, so it's whatever, I guess. Uh, Harmony is useful because it'll take 40% of your single elemental resistances from your items. So, let's say, uh, yeah, this one has 153% physical resistance, so this will actually give me about 60 um, all res um, on top of just the physical resistance here. So that's why, um, I mean, these aren't amazing or anything, but it just adds to the resistance, which, you know, helps you stay alive. All right. So that's Harmony, and then Sixth Sense. Um, this is just extra damage reduction, so when you're doing the higher greater rifts and people are doing a lot of damage and you need to try to reduce it as much as possible. So uh, these two um, are pretty much staple passives. You need these uh, just to you know keep everything up and running. Um, Harmony and Sixth Sense, um, you can change these out to uh, other ones if you're doing just like speed runs or something like that. Uh, for example, uh, you could go and put on your fleet footed for an extra 10% movement speed. Now, this is 10% on top of your 25% normally. So, if you have 25% and then you have this on there, you'll actually get 35% movement speed. And that's completely legit. Um, and then you can go through here and, you know, pick whichever ones you want. If you're doing a hardcore character, obviously, you know, use near death experience. Um, yeah. So, I mean, just go through here, pick what you want. Um, Exalted Soul, Chant of Resonance, these ones are the ones you're going to need. Alright, and then finally, the gems. So, I'm using Band of the Traps. This is level 51, so it's pretty good. Um, this will increase the damage against enemies under the effects of control and, or under control and bearing effects. So, with this, um, Wave of Light slows them so that automatically um, is a movement, you know, whatever, impairing effect. So just casting this on someone will increase the damage by 30%. And then also, uh, it also creates an AoE um, control impairing effect. So anyone that's close to you will also be automatically under this effect also. Um, so you want to try to get these up as high as you can. Um, I'm not sure what the max is, probably level 100 or something. And then I'm also using Zay's Stone of Vengeance. Now this one is strictly for um, survivability. Um, you can change this out for... Oh wait, sorry, never mind. I'm thinking of another character. Uh, damage you deal is increased by a certain percent for every 10 yards between you and the target hit. Um, so this is set at 32.5%. And then you also get a 1 in 5 chance to stun an enemy. So uh, if you can see my cursor right now, um, about right here is 5 yards. This is about 10 yards. This is 20 yards. This is about 30 yards. And then 30 yards out here. And then up here is like 40. And then back here is 50. And then way over here is, you know, crazy. So the thing with uh, having this helmet here is you can cast this way out there and then if you see the uh, little pieces that kind of shoot out, they're actually shooting out farther beyond the screen. So that's like 70, 80 yards. Um, so that will increase for every, you know, it, it's, it's a huge damage increase. So the further you are away from someone, the more damage you're going to do. And then this is one that I was thinking about uh, gives you 35% non-physical damage reduction. And then uh, also, if you happen to drop a low half-life, um, it also boosts your resistances by 75%. So this is great for survivability. Okay, so that is the gems, the gear, the moves. Um, as far as uh, the gems in here, uh, dexterity is kind of what you want most of all. Um, I throw these in here just for extra resistance, but um, dexterity also increases your armor. So if you were to put two... Uh, emeralds in here, that would be uh, 560 extra armor, 
So that would also reduce the damage that you do to him. Um, I'm not sure how much that would help me out right now, so kind of figured having extra resistances would be better. Okay, uh, things to look at here. Wave of Light increased damage. Um, this is important. You want this to be as high as possible. Fire damage increase. You want that to be as high as possible. Um, let's see. Your critical hit chance. You want that to be as high as possible. Also, your critical hit damage. Um, you want that to be as high as possible too. Attack speed. You're not really worried too much about that. Um, damage increased by skills. You want that because that affects everything. And then um, just basically increasing your dexterity will also increase your damage. So these are kind of the main things that you want to focus on with this build. Alright, so now we've done that, I will show you how this works. Now, the cool thing about this build is uh, you, it can also be used for speedruns, like greater rift speedruns, because it just does that much damage. Now, uh, something to keep in mind uh, when you're doing this is your first hit isn't going to do that much damage, but once you proc um, your restraint down here, then it'll increase your damage. So right now you can see I'm doing 4 or 5 billion. Now if you hit them with your resource generating attack and proc uh, focus on top of that, then you can see that um, your damage uh, shoots up. Now the reason why I'm not doing very much damage right now is because I don't have Swooping Wind active. So once you have this on here and it gets up there, now you'll see that's like 1.8 billion that I hit him for. 1.9 billion. All right. 6.43 billion. So basically with Greater Rift 50, I mean this is kind of a one-hit kill for most things. Um, you know, provided they actually crit. And that one was 12.9 billion. And the cool thing about killing things this fast is you don't really have to worry about like going too fast. I mean unless you're trying for speedruns. So basically all it is is you proc uh, your restraint, gives you an extra 50% damage, then you proc uh, focus, and it gives you an extra 50% on top of that. Um, but for most things, you only need focus. Or sorry, restraint, that's the one with the resource spending attacks. Alright, now something to keep in mind though, is that if someone is like currently in your swooping wind, um, what they're doing is they're keeping it from getting up to its highest level. Now, if you're not careful, it can run out, and once your sweeping one comes or runs out, then you lose uh, not only your, your damage reduction, but also your damage. So you need to be careful that if they are within your sweeping one, they don't stay there, and uh, just basically kill them. <laughs> Alright, so now when you're doing uh, elites, um, as you can see it is hitting for 10 billion, uh, you want to proc both focus and restraint because that'll help you get them down faster. But if it's just like for normal stuff, just having restraint active is usually enough to kill them. Unless you get these big guys, like that guy, he's kind of annoying. But I mean, as you can see, most of these guys, they have, uh, let's see, I don't know, 2 billion, this guy has 2 billion. That guy had 3 billion. So I mean, they're in the low billions as far as health goes. And so long as you're critting, um, you're hitting for well over that. Alright, what do we got? Um, and then, uh, you know, your dashing strike is great for mobility. It's also useful for getting out of uh, things like the arcane stuff or like the explosion explosive stuff because even with this build and you know having 77 million toughness um, that stuff will still kill you if you stand in it so just kind of be careful oh power <laughs> that's uh i just hit for 25 billion and that's just uh with restraint prot so once i hit focus on top of that and then i start hitting and that's 44 billion so 45 billion yeah <laughs> Oh god, this is so much fun. I really enjoyed this build, just because you just sit there, you attack stuff, and it just blows up. And uh, 
I mean, this is greater worth 50. These things are dying, you know, pretty easily. What do we got? Oh, conduit. Nice. Now, I think with conduit, it does a percentage of their life's damage um, every hit. So it's not really based on any of your own damage. Um, because I've seen people, like, who are on, like, Greater Rift, like, 100, you get a Conduit thing and are taking things down, like, as quick as I am right now, so... I don't think Conduit has anything to do with uh, your actual damage. So, yeah, I mean, you just go around, attack stuff, explosive light, pretty much, it's all you need. Alright, and we have the Rift Guardian. Now, for the Rift Guardian, you want to make sure that you have both Focus and Restraint uh, proc at all times. Um, watch out for their stuff. But I mean, as you can see, like I'm doing a lot of damage to this guy. You know, it's, it's pretty simple, just don't be stupid with it. Um, I mean, you're not invincible with this, but you are pretty damn hard to kill as long as you're paying attention to what you're doing. Alright, what do I want to increase? Alright. I'm going to try to get this guy up to level 50, so I'm probably going to be here for a while. Alright, so that's that. Um, now that was a slow run for me, and I did it in like five minutes. So I mean, with this build, um, especially if you tweak it for speedruns, you can do uh, Roid Rift level 50 speedruns in like two, three minutes easy. Alright. So, that was the video. Uh, this is my super awesome modified One Punch Monk. Good for greater rifts, speed farming, T10, whatever the hell you want. And as you can see, my gear, I've got three ancients, and that's it. And then everything else is just regular stuff. So, I mean, you, you do not need the best gear out there for this build to work for you. Um, don't quote me on this exactly, but I think if you can just get the pieces together, and if they're rolled, you know, semi-okay, you should be able to uh, roll T10 easy with this. Um, so you just need these two weapons, the boots, some Moku set, this belt, these bracers, this helmet, and then uh, you need... You need this, um, so the incense, the Grand Temple, Ring of Royal Grandeur, and Cinder Coat. That is all you need and you should be able to run T10 straight out of the box. Alright, so uh, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.